Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I want to showcase some very, very important and very popular settings in the system configuration or store configuration in the back end. Just important things to note when you set up a new site especially. Okay, uh, so the first thing I did is I logged into Magento back end. I clicked on stores and I clicked on configuration. Okay, so now I'm going to go to default. On the left hand side, I can see all of my navigation right here. Okay. So I'm going to start, uh, this is going to be a quick video, but I want to showcase some important ones, okay? So first of all, in general, general, um, I need to select my default country, and I need to select the specific uh, allowed countries. So when customers check out, they select maybe their shipping country, their billing, they register, etc. You can specify for which website are, are which allowed countries are allowed to check out and kind of work with, right? So this is number one important one, okay? Um, so next one, uh, you need to specify the time zone. So uh, which, uh, where is your server located? Where do you want to report under? So all the times, for example, order times or logs, etc., they're going to use time zones. They're going to use languages, time zones, and th these kind of basic settings. So time zone is a very, very important one you want to set up. In addition to the time zone in the configuration, you want to make sure that your server guy has set up the time zone of the server so they both match up and they don't conflict with each other. Okay, great. Next one is just store information. These can be used in transactional emails or other places, for example, in content on the website. Okay, great. So that's that's the first one, general, general. Okay, uh, second one is the, the actual web. So here you're going to actually configure the actual URLs that your website is using, right? So this is my URL, base image, uh, non-secure and base image secure. These will showcase if the website has an HTTP version and then the website has an HTTPS version, you're going to showcase here. Uh, basically specify the URL and you can later on also specify different URLs for, for example, CSS and JavaScript, but really this is the main one we're going to talk about in this quick video. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's look at the next one, okay? So currency setup, very simple. Here's where you configure um, any currency options, what's your base currency, and then what currencies do you allow on the site, okay? Store email addresses is the next one. So here you will specify five placeholders that you can use these to send any of the emails, the transactional emails that you have. So a transactional email, very simple, is an email that the system needs to send based on an action that the business or the customer did. So for example, when a customer registers, they get an email which says, thank you, you know, thank you for registering. That's a transaction email. So here you can specify for each one of these five, you can specify the from that you see in your Gmail or your, your email itself and the actual email it's sending from. So if the system sent a thank you for registering email to a customer, the name would be, for example, coffee bean and the email would be, you know, this one, right? So you know, for example, whatever, new at, you know, domain.com, okay? Uh, so you'd specify these, you'd save it. Okay, next one. Let's go, let's leave a general, let's go to catalog. So under catalog, uh, I'm going to go to catalog, catalog, and I'm going to go a few things that are very, very simple. So first of all, you can specify if price is global or website. So if you have a Magento that has multiple websites inside, you can specify if a product price, a specific SKU, a specific physical product, or sorry, digital product could be also, uh, if a specific product price is always the same within all websites you have on Magento, or it's only unique to specific websites. So for example, if you have the same product selling in different businesses, maybe different countries or different sub stores, you can specify you want to have a different price by selecting website or you can specify they're always the same price no matter what okay great um, so next one search engine optimization so you can specify the URL so if URLs end with for example .html or .php etc etc you can specify that okay um, let's go to the next one okay so customers um, customer configuration this is an important one as well so first of all, uh, if you have a multi-site, one Magento that has multiple websites, uh, will all of the customer database shared between all sites 
or are they are they unique to that specific website? So for example, if I have, let's say, a, uh, um, a business that has uh, a site, let's say, in US and a website in UK, okay? So if I want a customer to be able to log in to see all of their purchases in US and UK and they only have to log in once, I would select global. That means that I share all of my customer accounts between all of the websites within this specific Magento, right? This specific server instance. If I want UK and US to be completely separate, a customer has to log in to both of those separately and nothing is shared between, I would select per website. Okay, so that's a very, very important one. Okay, um, here's another one. So if you scroll down, when a customer creates a new account, what is the email, what is the transactional email I get sent to him? So if you create, you go to content, excuse me, you go to marketing and click on email templates, I can make new email templates for new customers, right? So I'd click on a new template, I'd say, I would write, you know, thank you for something, something, create some nice HTML, and then I would go here and I would select that email after I'd save, there'd be more options here, and now I have a default welcome email, okay? And so you have a few other settings, default welcome email without a password, with a password, who does it get sent from, etc. Okay, um, so you have some options right here. Okay, another one is this one, requires email confirmation. So when a customer registers, we can require them to, a, in order to log in and use their account, they'd have to receive an email, click on a link to activate their account. So if you don't want them to have to go to their email after they register to click on a link to activate, you can select no. Okay, so you can have either yes or no. Okay, let's see what else we have. So sales. Okay, see some other things. Okay, so... Okay, nothing, nothing very popular here. Um, okay, so here's all the settings for shipping, shipping methods, payment methods. These are important, but for other videos, okay? And that's pretty much it. Those are the most, most popular by far features that are very important to know that we haven't discussed prior, okay? That's it. So hope you enjoy this video. If you have any other details, any questions about other specific things, let me know. And of course, we'll be creating some more videos. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.